So today I have some local dimming tests to test your monitors and displays. And we're going to be checking out local dimming, a transition blooming test, and some various scenes on videos and gameplay to show the differences to see if your monitor looks vibrant, punchy, and contrasty. All this coming up on Victor's Reality. And before we begin the video, please make sure your contrast settings are set correctly. You can do this by setting a white cloudy image, white cloudy sky, and lowering your contrast levels so the definition of the clouds looks normal to your eyes. If you put it too high, the white part of the cloud might overpower everything else and it'll clip and it'll be too high, it'll be too bright. And when you do tests, you won't be able to see what is wrong because it might just be your settings. It might not actually be the panel. So set your contrast levels correctly before you begin this video and you want everything equalized to your eyes. Now in this local dimming test, we're going to test if your local dimming is working. And you can see here by the speed test internet download, only the middle section with the purple lines should be showcasing any kind of local dimming difference. The left and right side should be black or close to black if you have black equalizer enabled. And this will show you the contrast and to see if your local dimming is working. Various monitors might not dim the left and right side or not as much. So this test is showcasing local dimming power if it turns off or dims completely on the left and right side. While the middle part where there's some kind of color and lines should be visible and brighter. Next, we're gonna test brightness transition blooming on fast transitions. Now the main part of this picture is her nose. Her nose in the middle needs to stay uniform. It needs to stay the same color as the rest of her face. If you see a blotchy, muddy image, especially on the nose area, anywhere on the nose, it's because your monitor or TV cannot transition fast enough. And that might be an issue on fast panning scenes or fast transition scenes where the monitor is trying to push so much brightness, then it has to lower itself to equalize. This is the best image I've been able to find to test that. And if a monitor passes this test or not, I will be showcasing that in my upcoming videos. Just for example, the M28U cannot pass this test while the G70A, which uses the same Inalux IPS panel and all LG Nano IPS panels all pass this test. So it has to be monitor specific software hardware implementation that the M28U fails. If it passes this test, you're safe. And next up, we're gonna be showing various colors, various scenes on videos and gameplay. So you can test the monitors. If you have two monitors, let's just say you bought a new one and you want to test versus your old one, you can use this video to show the differences. Set it up to the way you like it. Even if you set it in vibrant or sRGB mode, all these videos will help you see the differences as I have various scenes to help you make an awesome buying decision to show the differences. You can see here in this brightness test with Resident Evil 7, the swampy house area, you can see the brightness. So if you have this side by side between two monitors, the one with the power, the one with the higher brightness should easily show, especially if you do like an M28U, which is 500 plus nits versus the G70A, which is about 330 nits. You could see a drastic difference. So friends, please enjoy the rest of the video. I do have some concerts. I do have some city panning scenes and a forest. So you can see a wider range of scenes. Again, you can test one monitor or two monitors so you can see the differences. So you can see if your upgrade was worth it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe as I will be making more of these types of videos. The main parts was the girl's nose. That is very important as many monitors fail that test. So I want to bring that to you so you can test it on your monitors or your future monitors. So again, friends, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.